So Joy Bo's Diner has a great storyline. Yeah. They really do. They've given so much to the community, and now their operations are returning to normal. Yeah. So Desiree is out there. I can't wait to hear more about this story. Hello, Des. So great. Hey, Des. Hey. Yeah, so they're trying to return back to normal. We're inside the Joy Bus Diner, and they just cannot find the employees to get the diner up and running. So that's why we're here with Jennifer Carraway this morning. Jen, tell us what's going on. Yeah, um, unfortunately, we can't find the people that want to come to work and help us reopen to the public. Um, we have been able to grow the patient program over the past year and a half, which is amazing. We've added another day, so there's a huge need for what we're doing. We just can't open to the public till we can find the people to work. And it's it's unfortunate because 100% of the revenue from this diner funds our program. So we've had to scramble the past year and a half to make it happen. It's working so far. It's working. What have you done then in the meantime? Uh, we've been very fortunate to throw as many like behind the scenes fundraisers as we can because obviously going out in public right now is not super recommended. Right. And we've been fortunate to have the Diamondbacks and Banner Hospital help pay our rent over this time. We've been very fortunate that the community's backed what we're doing. Okay. So so you are still at least delivering those patient meals and now you've added an extra day. Uh, tell us what we're seeing here when those meals go out and what these uh, cancer patients get to eat and enjoy. Yeah, well today we did a turmeric spiced rice. I can speak really well this morning. Uh, we did a turmeric spiked rice and feta, cucumbers, watermelon and baked salmon. And so our volunteers will show up in about 15 minutes and grab the bags and take it to the patient homes and let them know that somebody cares in their community about them. Okay, so how many employees or people do you need to come in here to work to get this diner up and running? Uh, we need cooks, we need chefs, we need dishwashers, we need waitresses. We're doing everything we can. We're posting hundreds of dollars in ads just to try to get people to come in the door that want to work and fingers crossed that it works sooner than later. Oh goodness. So if people are watching and they say, you know what, I do want a job, I do want to come in and help get this diner back up and running, what do they do? What's the best way to apply, to try to get in here for an interview? Yeah, all they need to do is reach out to Lisa at joybus.org and come on down and we'd be happy to speak with you. And in the meantime, we're trying to sell our cookbook to help raise... All right. I know. We lost her microphone. Um, Jennifer Caraway there at Joy Bus Diner. This is right off the 51 in Shea, uh, right off the freeway. So if you can help out, if maybe you want a job, they do so many great things for the community.